Hi guys, we're here with the next episode of the American Dream. We are gonna show how to do the famous head start. If you're looking for a gorgeous luxury townhouse, this is it. Welcome to the American Dream, a national TV show centered around real estate, lifestyle, and culture. And today we're going to Washington, D.C., one of my favorite areas, to chat with Alex Martinez and Nareet Coombe, award winning realtors there. They're going to show you around town and give you some real estate advice. You're going to love today's show. Let's start it right now. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial-free, unscripted. I got it. These are stories for you and by you. We're here in the downtown Crown, which is uh, just outside, about 10 miles outside of DC. It is in Gettysburg, and one of the most successful new development in the suburb of DC. So we're here with Krista, the spokesperson of the town. We're so excited to be here with you. So tell us all about this town and what you have to offer. Yeah, of course. Well, we're excited to have you here in Crown. We're located right off of IC70 and the ICC, right in the Life Sciences Corridor for the city of Gaithersburg. So we've got great employment sector around here. We've got AstraZeneca and Novavax, Johns Hopkins and Adventist Healthcare. We're here in the downtown Crown area right now. There are four different neighborhoods in Crown. So you've got downtown Crown, you've got Crown Central, Crown West, and our latest section to open, which is Crown East. So you pretty much finish all the three sections, right? You see here this amazing development and yep. we have single family townhouses, condos, apartments. And the last section, which we're so excited to show everybody, is the Crown East. Crown East is a really great section. It's our last section for the community and it offers Lennar, Michael Harris Homes, Pulte, and Craftmark. So there's a little something for everyone. There's two over two condos, there's townhomes, and there's single family homes. And what's unique about this luxurious townhouses and single family, the townhouses all have four levels with a gorgeous rooftop terrace. These are gorgeous townhomes. I can't wait to show you guys inside. Lennar will be opening their mall within a matter of weeks. Most Michael Harris homes will be opening this summer. The single family homes, you mentioned that they were uh, priced at around 1.1. Tell us a little more about uh, you know, its features and everything that they have to offer. Sure, well, the Michael Harris homes are two master suites, one on each level, so it's a multi-generational living. And the homes have a great site. They're back right up to a grove of trees. So they have nice privacy and two car garages as well. And guys, they're starting at 1-1 for this gorgeous single family homes. It's all about lifestyle. And right here in the suburb of DC, we have this everything, live, play, work. Later on, we're gonna show you one of our favorite restaurants in the crown, Ted Bulletin. So let's go and take a look. We're here at the Pulte model. They have townhomes, they have condos, they have so much to offer and they look amazing. Amazing, right? They have 80 stackable condos, two levels over two levels, 71 townhouses, and they're already halfway sold out. What a great option to bring our clients right here at the Crown. We can pick the best lots. We're working with all these amazing builders. Absolutely, so let's go and talk to Ben. He's gonna tell us more about it and... Yeah, absolutely. All right. So Ben, you have, I love your product. I love those townhouses. The townhouses are full level. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bathrooms, a den. 
Uh, last year, in 2020, we made some revisions to the Sydney floor plan, which make it even more accommodating for the way people live today. You added office. We did. We added I love it. It's ideal for someone working from home or children doing their homework. We have a large, a huge walk-in pantry. Well, which is great for stocking up on grocery items <laughs> uh, to the grocery store. Yes, I know your clients just love oh the God, pantry. That's one of the seven features for this uh, specific model. We, they all love that space. There's lots of lights, it's multi-levels, there's a balcony, terraces. It's just a great product. And the townhouses are four levels in the low 600. That's like, quite amazing. You can beat that for sure. So With thank you. Ben for having us. Yeah, thanks for visiting. Looking forward to working with you and looking forward to show you guys more of your homes. Nareed, we're here, uh, one of the largest uh, townhomes in uh, Crown, built by Crossmark. Yes, Craftmark is a very luxurious builder. They have 72 townhouses. A lot already. of luxury here. <laughs> yes, and they have a few. There are immediate delivery, four levels, three levels if you want, some with elevators. So let's go and take a look and talk to Lori from Craftmark. Oh, there she is. Hey, Lori, how are Hi, you? Hi, welcome. See you. Welcome to Craftmark Homes. It's such an honor to have two top producers such as yourselves visit us today. This is a great townhouse. So tell us about the features here because luxury all over here. Well, where do we start? They are grand townhomes. They're 24 feet wide by 42 feet deep and square footages range between 2510 to over 3100 square feet. You can get an optional elevator. The other great feature is that we build to age in place and it meets all the fair housing guidelines. Our included features list has 50 to $70,000 that would be optional elsewhere, which is another impressive statement that Craftmark makes. Even your appliances, your appliances are Bosch, they're just right. they're standard appliances. Just, it's we offer Thermador as well. And so the gas fireplace is standard and the 13 foot island is great for entertaining. Love this island. And one of the things that really makes Craftmark stand out is that we offer custom options, custom features. To set ourselves aside in the market like that is really an appealing thing to most purchasers because they all want to add special details to their homes. Absolutely. That was great, Lori. Thank you so much for having us here. And we love bringing our clients here. And there is so much that, that this has to offer. So great seeing you again. Well, you are always welcome here. Hi, Brian. Hey. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Welcome to TED's. So we love this Thank place. You. So that's the reason why we want to bring our audience here. More than anything, breakfast all day, great place to be. So in the crown, you're an icon right here, TED's, right? So how did it all start? Who is TED? Uh, TED was the father of the original owners, Ty and Neil, and they wanted to build something in honor of their father. He grew up in West Virginia, a coal mining town. He was known for just bringing in people, welcoming them into the house, giving them grilled cheese, tomato soup, just warm, pepperoni food. Just right at the height of the Great Depression. We always read the menu every time we come. Right? It's history, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> What are we doing today? You have a special treat for our audience. Absolutely, I have my chef ready over here. We're gonna show you how to do, the, we do our Ted's tarts. Ted's tarts, and they are filled with, these are cookies, they're amazing tarts, and they're filled with? Uh, different ones, we have a cinnamon brown sugar, we have a blueberry cheesecake, strawberry. We, we try to flavor them around. S'mores. <laughs> S'mores. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's go and see them. Let's have fun. All right. We are 
here for a treat for our audience, and we're gonna show them how to make Ted's famous sauce. They look just amazing. So tell us how they are done. Okay, so we take flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder, and put in the mixer with cold diced butter. And we blend that until it looks gritty and sandy. And then we add eggs and vinegar to it until it all comes together into a dough. It's interesting, you said eggs and vinegar. Why vinegar? And we put the vinegar in there because vinegar inhibits gluten and makes a flakier crust. When it all comes together, then we put it out on a tray, wrap it, and we save it. We make the dough a day ahead. So the dough that we make today will be for tarts that we make tomorrow. So this is a dough and it's kind of, it really feels good. It's not mm -hmm. sticky, it's soft. It's a really nice dough to work with. Mm -hmm. It is. It works great, so. So you take that. The smaller is good. <laughs> And then the other part is the making of the tart. It's what to fill it with, right? Right. So we show you how to make the dough, and now to the fun part. Yes, so we put in the jam. This one specifically is cherry, but you can put whatever you want. Uh, we take egg, and we kind of put it around the dough right here on one side only. And then we gently, gently lift up the dough. Put it on top. Very good, just and like then a pro. With your fingers, kind of like make it so, like that, All but right, prettier. Is that beautiful? This goes into the oven. And then, the final product, yum. And the smell is unbelievable. Oh my God, it smells so good. Is that amazing? Yes. Krista, this was great being here today and showing this lovely, beautiful day, The Crown. What a great community. I was mm -hmm. really, really excited to just bring more buyers through and then just to purchase in this amazing community. The Crown has so much to offer. Yeah, it's a uh, great place to be. There's, there's a lot to offer here. There's a lot to do, obviously, in the retreat, and, and we welcome you back anytime. Thank you so much, and give us a call if you guys uh, need any assistance purchasing uh, The Crown. We're here for you. Uh, also, thank you for tuning in, American Dream TV. See you next time. See you next time. Nareet and Alex know the lifestyles of Washington, D.C. I love it when they show us around. Why? Well, the opportunity to sit down and interview them about some real estate advice. Let's check out what they had to say. The American Dream is a show about real estate, lifestyle, and culture. But it's a real show, not a reality show, where we sit down with the best professionals and markets all across the country. Always fun to talk about the East Coast Joining us on the show, the repeat offenders, Nareet Coom, Alex Martinez, and Mauricio Umansky. Now, Mauricio, you're actually in L.A. we got to be honest with our audience here. But you have broken into uh, the East, East Coast, with, uh, with the advancement of the, the team with Nareet and Alex. So how are things going so far, guys? Well, things are going just amazing. I think that uh, we're, we're excited to be working together. It's... Uh, we're getting just past the honeymoon stage, and I think that we're just operating just uh, perfection. Uh, Do you still like each other? To work with these two guys, it's amazing. <laughs> we still love each other, my man. Okay, that, that's good. We love each other, <laughs> exactly. That's, that's, that's important. So, so, Mauricio, you're a Southern California guy. The show, we're here in San Diego. What are the differences that you see from the market that we experience here versus over there? Well, there's not that many differences. I mean, other than geographically speaking and weather and uh, seasons and all of that stuff, there's really not that many, you know, uh, differences. At the end of the day, we all still need to deliver amazing customer service, which is, you know, what, you know, both Nareed and Alex do so extraordinarily well uh, and really just be able to, uh, you know, take care of our clients. Right. Um, so I, I just think that uh, other than that, there's not a big difference uh you know manhattan as i've mentioned in the past and, and and the city of san francisco i think are the two cities in the country currently being hurt uh because of the uh the pandemic 
Uh, but the rest of the country is uh, pretty much experiencing extraordinary real estate. We're looking at growing further in the East Coast. We're looking at uh, expanding. We have sold, uh, uh, we're about to expand into Connecticut, and we're also about to expand into Long Island. So we're seeing a continuation of that. Boston is right around the corner. Uh, so we're very excited about our East Coast expansion. I think that's, you know, one of the things that we're most excited about. But, um, you know, the agency was founded, you know, with the, uh, with the idealism of uh, changing real estate, right? Um, and delivering, using technology to better serve our clients and to better do things. And I can tell you that Alex and Noreen are the epitome of all of that stuff. They're just so extraordinary. And one of the big data points that we have seen with both Alex and Noreen because of their knowledge, their data, the technology that they've used in incorporating our technology is that they are actually able to sell their homes for more money than their competitors sell their homes for. Uh, they have a tremendous amount of processes. They have data and in, an amazing infrastructure, which allows them to get just a few points, a few percentages more than their, than their competition because of the way they set up their houses. And that to me is really what the epitome of, of uh, the agency is. The agency has 685 list, uh, agents currently working for the agency. And we, uh, last year we did about 6.8 million, 6.8 billion dollars of uh, a, a volume which equates to, uh, I believe, the highest uh, per agent uh, volume than any other any of our, comp our, our competitors. Wow. We use that by using technology, lead generation. The entire company is on one single CRM and we have 100% participation on it. Um, but, we, but, but the real importance about the agency, uh, forget about the technology and how great and how big and all of that stuff, it's the family. It's the culture. We really do believe we're a big family. Uh, the family then takes uh, the customer service and the touching people to the next level, which is touching the consumer uh, and making sure the consumer is super happy and well taken care of. Uh, and we have a, and we foster a culture of collaboration and collaboration is kind of just an easy thing to say. But the reality is that the majority of our competitors do not foster that. In, in this world, uh, rather they compete within each other with each other within their own firms. Uh, the agency is completely the opposite of that. We 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 high five each other when somebody makes an extraordinary sale. Uh, we uh, we celebrate each other's successes, uh, and and uh, you know when we have uh, you know sorrows, we 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 deal with that as well together. So uh, I think the most uh, that that is what I'm most proud of from the agency, which is the uh, the 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 the, uh, the culture of family. You know, I've had a pretty neutral position in this real estate environment for almost two decades now. And with this show, I always say that brand is what people say about you when you're not around. And you guys have established an incredible brand nationwide and you're attracting some of the best talent. So kudos to you for all that you've done as a leader of the company. Nareet, he said a few nice things about you. You're the one who's in the trenches, who's working these deals, negotiating the deals. He, he paid you the compliment of getting above and beyond uh, what a typical agent would get on a listing of a property. How do you do that? Well, first, I must say, you got to love Mauricio, right? I mean, the culture, <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing thing because when we came to California and we interviewed different companies we want to do as a next step for us, me and Alex, um, it's, it's, you see that culture right there. It's just so beautiful. And um, having a company that has so much together in terms of the personalities, the people, the support, we have implemented this agency and the whole systems in the back end, which is really sophisticated. I mean, it is state of the art technology wise in a matter of a couple of weeks. <laughs> it was amazing. Well, Alex, I thought you were the data guy. I thought Nareet was just the negotiator, but uh, yeah, I thought I'll you were the data guy. Bit, let's talk a little bit about the data for, for sure. I think having the data is crucial, but not only having the data, knowing what to do with the data uh, to actually target those specific uh, buyers for that specific house. Nareet made a very, very good point when we're coming up with a specific plan that is tailored to that specific house, and we're going to have the data to back everything up that is what's going to yield the highest return on the sale of their home. Uh, there's nothing better than coming to meet with an appraisal and showing them all the data that we have that is going to back up whatever price that we're selling the property for. Now the neighbors are going to wonder, how in the world my neighbor sold 
this house for a lot more than what I sold mine for. There's a reason why, because they came to us. We're with the agency and this is how we deliver. Just the best of the best. When we came in and met with Mauricio, we just identify ourselves so much with the, you know, the way he's going about doing business, the collaboration aspect of it. And this is how we complement one another with Nareed. We learned how to collaborate with one another, understanding our strengths and weaknesses. And this is how we, you know, we integrate with each other so that we are able to have a successful sale. Well, I appreciate you guys sitting down with us today, talking a little bit about the agency, how you negotiate on the listing side, but also the buy side. It's really an interesting time in the real estate market. All housing markets are local. The agency has done a phenomenal job building a brand uh, in all markets, and you guys are definitely good foot soldiers for them there, helping families accomplish their American dream. Appreciate you guys coming on the show here today. I know we're going to show some of your properties here in a bit, so let's get to that. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. So they've showed you around town, given a great interview about the real estate market. Now, what if you want to see some of the inventory? Here are Nareet and Alex's top properties on the market right now. this luxurious five-bedroom arts and crafts style home offering a spectacular gourmet kitchen, state-of-the-art amenities, high-end finishes and materials, and over 7,000 square feet of lavish living in the highly sought-after Lux Manor neighborhood. No expense was spared in this custom home built by Greystone Ventures with an abundance of designer features including soaring 12-foot ceilings, three gas fireplaces, double wide crown moldings, floor to ceiling windows, custom paint, dramatic tray and coffered ceilings, and a spectacular backyard oasis featuring a pebble tech pool, a sprawling flagstone patio, and a three season Florida room. Enjoy a gourmet meal in the chef's dream kitchen, a spacious breakfast room, or the elegant formal dining room offering a dual butler's pantry and floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking the backyard. Gather in the window-lined family room, offering coffered ceilings, a marble surround fireplace, and double French doors opening to the spacious Florida room. Relax on the inviting cedar roof front porch or in the lower level recreation room with its lofty nine-foot ceilings, gas fireplace, and a fully outfitted wet bar. entertain your family and guests in the ultimate backyard retreat. And at the end of the day, escape from the world to the sumptuous owner's suite with its stunning gas fireplace, spa-like private bath, and separate sitting room. Wherever you are, this thoughtfully designed home provides you the perfect space to live your best life. to this updated colonial perfectly situated on a half acre lot offering a private tree-lined backyard in sought after Fox Hills. This four bedroom home features hardwood floors on the main and upper levels, recessed lighting, oversized windows letting in tons of natural light, and a bonus sunroom. With over 3,100 square feet, you'll find an abundance of living spaces including a fabulous family room featuring a marble surround fireplace and glass doors that exit to the patio. The centrally located kitchen boasts granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and a pass-through window to the sunroom. Perfect for entertaining family and friends, the spacious, light-filled sunroom is showcased by skylights and oversized windows on three sides, for the walk out to the patio and backyard. Upstairs, the primary suite features dual closets, hardwood floors, and an attached bathroom. Additional gathering spaces are found on the finished lower level with ample space for a recreation room, 
playroom, office, and additional storage. Located just minutes from Cabin John Village, Park Potomac, Montgomery Mall, Cabin John Park, and Falls Grove Golf Course, there are unlimited dining, shopping, and entertainment options. With easy access to I-495 and I-270 and the Grosvenor Metro, this is where you want to live. Welcome to this meticulously built, state-of-the-art, all-brick craftsman home. This one-of-a-kind estate offers 9,300 square feet of luxurious living space on a half-acre lot in one of the D.C. area's most desirable communities. Impressive architectural details and must-have luxury amenities are found throughout, including soaring 11-foot coffered ceilings, custom millwork, richly stained 5-inch oak hardwood floors, and a spectacular sunroom addition overlooking the incredible backyard oasis. Built in 2016 and featuring $900,000 in upgrades by the current owners, this unique custom home has it all. Step through the 9-foot mahogany doors and embrace the grand view of the majestic two-story foyer with a sweeping curved staircase. Prepare a gourmet meal in the designer chef's kitchen, boasting every imaginable amenity, or in the recently added second fully equipped kitchen. Enjoy a cup of hot cocoa in front of one of five fireplaces, or sip a glass of wine on one of the two decks or the sprawling patio. Entertain family and friends on a grand scale in the luxurious lower level, featuring massive recreation rooms, a spectacular bar, a premium surround sound theater, and a fully equipped wine room. Relax at the end of the day in the palatial owner's suite, offering a large sitting area, a spa-like private bath, a trendy safe room, and a 300 square foot custom owner's closet with a chandelier, marble center island, and extensive custom shelving. Enjoy the ultimate staycation in the newly landscaped backyard retreat, featuring two expansive Trex decks, a 3,000 square foot patio, a sensational gas fire pit, and a captivating disappearing fountain. Located in the heart of Lux Manor, a community known for its long-standing neighborhood social traditions, and close to unlimited shopping, dining, and entertainment venues, this is where you want to live. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of The American Dream TV, where we featured Washington, D.C. and award-winning realtors Alex Martinez and Narit Coombe. I was your host, Craig Sewing. I really enjoyed this today, and I want to remind you, you can also follow the show on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The American Dream TV. If you want to connect with any of our partners that you've seen on the show today, make sure you message us there. That's all for today. Of course, cheers to your American dream.